This project is really intended to demonstrate that we can drill extremely high temperature hard rock efficiently. My name's Bailey Schwartz and I'm the director of North American Projects at EVER. We're in Animas, New Mexico, uh, just on the outskirts of the Lightning Dock Geothermal Facility. And one of the reasons that this location's been selected for this technology demonstration project is that it's in a area where there's a high geothermal gradient. My name is Mark Hodder, and I am the well engineering manager and well operations manager for all of uh, Ever's global operations. So the fundamental objectives of, of this project is to look at de-risking a lot of the technologies that we bring to the table to enable uh, what we call the Everloop 2.0 design. So it's targeting hot, deep rock in the granite and still putting the same multilateral junctions, uh, just much deeper, much hotter. So using technologies around cooling, uh, drilling efficiency at high temperatures in hard rock. The deeper you drill down, the higher the temperature gets. So it's a great test bed for us to prove and uh, trial these technologies that allow us to cool our drilling assembly and test out our, our proprietary technologies that we're developing. So there's a couple of new technologies that we're testing at this site. Uh, the primary of which is our proprietary cooling system involving insulated drill pipe, mud coolers at surface, uh, high flow rates, etc. That unlocks the use of conventional downhole tools as well as enhanced drilling efficiency using a thermal shock cooling effect at the bid phase. In this well, we're permitted down to 23,000 feet. We'll drill down as deep as we can get to, and that's just the beginning. Really what we're trying to do is continue to push boundaries for how deep and how hot we can actually drill these ever loops and place these ever loops. So the deeper you go, or the higher temperature you go, the better the efficiency of the system. This project is an extension of the Everlight demonstration project that we've already built, and it's extremely significant because it lets us test the new elements of the technology suite that we're building that let us take an Everloop and scale it to essentially a global type of geology or project setting. So this is really what's unlocking that next stage of the market and broadening our ability to install Everloops globally. Our end goal is we want to change the world. We want to have Everloops operating on every continent and every market. The way that we can do that is by partnering with people who are really good at developing projects and helping with the technology element of it.